The North. I can't wait to learn more about Armstrong, Olivier Armstrong. You need to be careful walking around in a snowstorm. The flesh that's touching your auto mail will freeze, and you need to oil it, or it will stiffen. So does that buccaneer guy have a different kind of auto mail or something? Yeah, his seems to be working fine. I can't get this thing unstuck. <laughs> hey, my head! Yeah, sort Buccaneer, that out. Your auto ASAP. mail has to be flexible and lightweight. After some trial and error, we found an alloy that works. A combination of duralumin, carbon fiber, nickel, copper, and so on. And that's why he couldn't do alchemy on it. Are you planning on telling him all our secrets? Why wouldn't I? He's a state alchemist. He has a right to know. Yeah, why all the hostility? You're kidding. He has the pocket watch. That could have come in handy last episode. You should switch to a different kind of auto mail. I feel like that's a betrayal for Winry. And she let you come up north without explaining all of this to you first? Not exactly. She didn't know. I didn't tell her I was planning on coming up here. Yeah. You should really keep Winry in the loop. I recommend you send for her. Assuming that you'd like good, to stay good. alive. Good, good. I'm glad. Why does it feel like cheating for him to get another auto mail mechanic? <laughs> it feels like a betrayal of trust for Winry. Is that weird? That'll be a hundred cents. How much are cents worth? You come up here with mediocre auto mail, completely ignorant about the North, and you try to bypass the command center. Oh, come on! I hike up here, a state alchemist with an official letter of introduction, and this is how I'm treated? Yeah, yeah, I'm on Ed's side. Hello, little red runt. If you have a problem, then now's the time to speak up. <laughs> My hair! My hair? Is that what that is? In Al's mind. I didn't know he cared. It looks awful. You still look great, though. Episode 34, Ice Queen. From what I hear, you two are close to my brother, Alex. We love Alex. Is he, he takes his shirt off right? a lot. Uh, yeah. The big strong guy we know and love. Alex exactly. is doing just great. What, do they have a rivalry or something? I want to know it all, including why your armor's empty. That's something we don't like to talk about. Everybody up north has something that he or she doesn't like to talk about. But if this information reaches certain ears, I could be court-martialed. Even I have secrets like that. <laughs> Brother, listen. I really think we have to tell her. So I'm starting to think more and more that these guys are going to be really important allies. They're definitely being framed here as like being out of the normal state of affairs for the military. And maybe they're largely forgotten about because who wants to come up here? Especially with hospitality like this. <laughs> Nobody would visit. How could the people at Central let these two run around loose? Get out of here right now! <laughs> at least that's what I'd like to say, but I'm interested in what a fake out. You're nothing but lapdogs living safely within your city walls. But we are the ones who protect you. We few who are brave enough to defend the country's border. My job is far more perilous than yours. I don't know about that. And Major Miles. Yes, sir. Put them to work. <laughs> they don't know how to work. Not work has no right to eat. This might just be the first time Ed and Al have actually had to do work for the military, instead of doing whatever the hell they damn please. You have a point. A doctor said people around here have a lot of things to hide too. So what are you hiding, Major? <sighs> It's no fair for you guys to ask all the questions and never answer any. You really want to know? Oh, he's just fallen. He's fallen. It was your people who destroyed the land of my grandfather. He's <laughs> fallen. Your people destroyed our countryside. And one of you is responsible for murdering my friend's parents. Careful, brother! <laughs> Was that a test? Since the war, the Mestrians always view me with a mixture of guilt and pity. To be honest, I'm getting tired of it. And Ishvalan tried to kidnap me, nearly killed me, and then briefly fought alongside me. After all that... My feelings are a bit conflicted. Yeah, that sums up the show pretty well. <laughs> My feelings are a bit conflicted. That's deliberate. That's the point. Ed has very strong legs to stand on in this conversation because one, he was not involved in the war. And two, he's trying to bring about the end of the military establishment as we know it. So there's no reason to take that. One thing you guys pointed out to me that I'm really grateful for is that it seems like the manga framed the war a little bit differently or at least covered it in more depth to the point where there were injustices on both sides. And we do have a little bit of that in the show. We have Winry's parents from Scar, although that's on a lot smaller scale. But Ed is right. And this show has done a great job establishing that it's not really the sides, you know, it's the individuals. Every character has their own unique motivations and aspirations. Besides, 
I think people should try to ignore their race and just treat each other as equals. You passed the test. The war began right after I was posted here. Many of my relatives, including my grandfather, were killed in the east. Wow. I fell outside the military's purge requirements, so I was spared. You didn't hold any grudge against the military? Yeah, that's... You don't understand how the world works now, do you? I guess not. I know I'm ignorant about some things. That makes two of us. That makes me believe even more that they have their own thing going up here, up north. It would have been easier for her to get rid of me. Eventually, I just came right out and asked her. This is Briggs. No matter what happens, this territory must not fall. Every soldier here must be both strong and flexible. You must move as one cohesive unit, following me, your leader, in all things and at all times. Right, right. We do not have the luxury of discrimination here. I was born and raised in a mistress. In order to lead, I need someone with your eyes. Now shut up and follow Literally. me, Miles. Understood? Her words made sense. I knew she was speaking without deception. Yeah, it seems like his loyalty is less to the military and more to Armstrong herself and to his unit. And maybe that's a common thing among the people at Briggs. I even went so far as to ask her, what if the Ishvalan blood within me cannot forgive what the military did to my people? And you want to know what the general said to that? Fine then, bring it. On behalf of the military, <laughs> right. I will accept your challenge anytime. She walks the walk. Maybe she said that because she had her troops with her. No, I don't think that so. Wasn't it at all. Yeah. I'll fight you one on one. <laughs> the look in her eye. She seems like a good leader. You know what the law is here? Survival of the fittest. That's right. Without power, you die. And if you have it, you might survive. <laughs> Survival of the fittest in action. Your luck was strong, so you survived. I don't know if that was fitness, but okay. Oh no. His height. Is that you? Huh? <gasps> Officer Fallman! Right, he got reassigned up here. They promoted you! Yeah. Is that like a hush promotion? Just to keep him quiet? you doing something like this, then that means... They've taken you off the career track? <laughs> yeah, I just want to keep him quiet. Wow, what's it for? Development. All the fort's most important functions, its lifelines, come through here. Even if the fort's attacked, this area will remain safe. Why do I feel like something bad's gonna happen to the, the basement? It's coming. From underground. What? Sounds like like someone's digging through the rock. Maybe oh. It's spies from Drachma. They could be digging a tunnel under the fort. It's close. What a pain. Mm. It's so annoying. All this digging. Oh, this is uh. But I guess dying would be a pain. Too. What center are we missing? We saw a brief flash of this guy. Sloth. Miles. Old sloth, metal it is alchemist. Sloth, yeah. I wonder what his powers will be. I mean, besides incredible strength. <laughs> but what is he doing here? Do they know we've come here to find a way of fighting them? This isn't good. <laughs> Narcolepsy, the best power. We're just trying to find a way to get our bodies back, that's all. Why should I care about you? I don't think he's heard about us from Father or Fuhrer Bradley. What was the hole for? I saw you talking to the intruder like you knew who he was. No, we weren't! Your lies won't fool me! You guys have bigger problems right now, like this giant homunculi. <laughs> throwing pipes. This is why you never say something is fully protected. It'll always be destroyed. It's warm here. Don't move! Oh wow. Nah, he's fine. General, we have tanks! Thanks for the update. <laughs> I'm confused about why Sloth is here. It seems like he was assigned to dig a hole there, but to what end? Also, it seems like we're not gonna get some character intrigue from Sloth, maybe. Even Gluttony seems like a complex character in comparison. I guess this guy's just a muscle. Where's he been all this time? Sleeping. Probably sleeping. That didn't do much. Yeah, well now would be a good time to tell them about the homunculi. I guess this might put them all on the same page. Armstrong and Ed and Al. Oops. Ouch. Right 
work to work. Yeah, hopefully he's earning some points. Drop the act! You will answer all my questions clearly and completely! First off, how do you know about that thing? Are you a Drachman spy? I'm not! No, stop with the Drachman stuff! Is that thing a spy? I really doubt it! <laughs> no, uh, no, apparently not. What is that thing? It's a long story. I can't answer. Who does that thing work for? I can't answer that! Are you on our side or are you in league with that thing? I'm not with him. I don't want to see anyone here get hurt. I learned from our last attack that we can't kill it. The best that we can hope for is to stop or delay it. So we'll have to hit it with something even stronger than fire. Now you get to see the Briggsway kid. She's excited. Oh my god. Stop. What is the Briggsway, I wonder? What's stronger than fire? <laughs> so it's cool that we finally get to see Sloth, even though it doesn't seem like he's going to be very much to add character-wise. He just seems to be like a real threat in terms of physical danger. Although, who knows? I mean, I didn't think much of Gluttony at first, and Gluttony surprised me. What I suspect is that this episode will play a vital role in uniting Ed and Al with Armstrong. They've sort of lucked into this situation where they're kind of a fringe group, you know? I mean, they're the military, but they have a sense of independence from it, it seems. They have their own thing going on, even if that's just the way they think about themselves. I'm guessing a lot of their loyalty is about their connection to each other rather than to the organization, and I can see that becoming important. Although there's clearly a lot of tension between them because Ed is worried about Winry's life, so he can't exactly disclose all the information. But at least now they have seen a humunculi with their own eyes, and so that must go a long way in bringing their alliance closer. But what is the hole for? And what's stronger than fire? So many burning questions, get it? Even though we're not getting a super intense amount of plot in these episodes, I'm kind of enjoying this arc. It feels like a fresh start in a way. We spend so much time in Amestris. In a way, it adds some of that like classic adventure feel that other shows have that I feel like this show doesn't have as much where they're, you know, they're traveling, they're seeing the world. Not that I need that, but I'm finding myself enjoying that aspect of it. So yeah, that's the end of episode 34. I'll see you guys next time when we finally find out what is stronger than fire.